sometimes. Uh, hi everyone. Um, how are you today? Good. I hope you enjoy the bizarre. Awesome. Okay. Um, so innovation. Um, I believe you work for different companies, startup, right? Um, how many of you work for startup? Okay, great. Uh, maybe bigger companies, not a startup anymore. Corporate. Okay. Uh, so when I talk to um, people from uh, different companies, because I, I try to meet people uh, and learn from them, um, one of the things that I I observe from from almost everyone is how we can innovate, right? How we can change things, having new ideas, uh, improve your product, move fast. Um, so today uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about innovation cultures, but uh, with different angle, which is start with design. Anyone heard about this before? And the idea of starting with designs for innovation. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, just an um, introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Tian Nguyen. Uh, I'm from Wego. I'm a CTO of Wego. So what I like to do, I enjoy a lot is traveling codings. But uh, what I want to do is um, I want to, to make an impact by solving the problem. Anyone news video before for your um, travel booking? That's good. So today you know where we go and then you can start using it. Uh, so just uh, a quick introduction about my company. Wego is a travel meta search platform. We connect to uh, airlines, uh, OTA is a travel agencies, and hotels, like thousands of them. So when you search on Wego, we search across like thousands of them and bring to you the, the best results, best option you can book with. Wego founded in Singapore uh, I think 12 years ago, in 2005, um, uh, 13 years ago. Um, and today, we are the number one in terms of traffic compared to other tr uh, travel methods in Middle East regions. Uh, we also have a significant um, traffic from different South Asia and, and few other uh, markets as well. But our market is mainly in Middle East. That's why we have an office in uh, Dubai, Iran, and a few Middle East countries. Uh, we have, uh, our tech team is, is based in Singapore, um, many. And we also have a team in uh, Zagata um, and uh, India as well. Yeah, so you can see here, uh, if when you search, you can, you can, see a lot of results coming from different um, hotels, uh, travel agents. So why designs? Why design matters, right? Um, so you can design different things. You can design your product by having new ideas, uh, deploy new features uh, with better designs do A-B testing and what, whatever you can, can improve your products and user experience, right? Uh, you can design your, your products. And the result of that is how much love you user um, give to your products. Yeah. So user love your products and they are going to use your product more often. Um, you can also design your system, which is system design. So you design your um, services, data, right, infrastructure, whatever. So the system designs. You can also design your team as well. So what's the team structures? 
what is the process, right? how people work together. And the result of a good system design and a team design is innovation, in my opinion. Of course, you can also design your life. So you have a very clear um, purpose, right? So you know what you want to do. You know what you want to achieve, and you have a good plan for that to achieve those goals and purpose, which make you happy, right? So just a different thing you can design. And when you have a good system, good team, you can also be happy as well, right? So everything relates to each other. So today I'm going to talk um, a bit about system and team designs because it can result to better innovation. So system design and team design, there's many things in common because my background is from um, the software uh, engineer. I, I was a software engineer uh, initially and then I work on different things like um, backend, frontend, um, DevOps, data, like, like almost everything because I believe that um, when you understand everything, you, you can solve the problem faster and I want to solve problem. So I understand that uh, system designs and team designs, there's many things in common. So right now I'm, I'm leading the team uh, of uh, uh, engineering, uh, engineers um, in Singapore, in Jakarta, in, uh, in India, right? So um, how we can design a team um, in which we can innovate and move really fast. Uh, so I understand that designing the team and, um, and the system, there's many things in common. For example, uh, you need to make sure that your system is, um, um, there's some reusable, for example. Then in the team design, you also need to make sure um, there shouldn't be two teams working on the same thing at the same time. Uh, or uh, it should be a very self-contained, um, less dependencies, right? So in the system, you shouldn't uh, depend on so many different um, external services or system. Um, but the same for a team design. You, you need to make sure that your team is self-contained. So you will be able to move really fast within the team without waiting for other team, right? So when I talk to um, a few different companies, um, they, uh, they have a DevOps team, right? So every time um, someone needs to deploy something, they have to talk to DevOps team, send a ticket, right? And then wait for response. It can be a, in a while in order to deploy something even though you already, you, know, you are ready to deploy, right? So, so it should be, you know, um, there shouldn't be a lot of dependencies um, in the team as well as the, the system. Uh, so I'm not going to talk like many different uh, in details about team design and, and system designs. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about the principles. So for system design and team designs, uh, I believe that ownership is important. So your team should take the responsibility, the, the, they should own the system and constantly improve the system, right? That's the ownership. And they keep inventing, keep trying, trying, trying sorry, keep trying new things um, with a very uh, simple, Solution. So you should, shouldn't introduce something which is super complicated, for example, to solve, solve small, small problem. Um, and one of the things that I, I think is, is, is very different when you design a team is uh, uh, there's something like trust, respect, and empathy. You can design a very good structure, well structure with a good process, but the core of that is it trusts, respect, and empathy. So as a team member, we should trust each other, right? We, we should really respect each other and, and really care about others. 
Right? So, so, so at we go, um, what we do is for, for others. So when we come to work, right, we solve our problem. We actually we try to solve that problem with others. So um, to make sure that say if someone have some problem, right, then someone else they should, should be willing to, to, to give help to solve that problem. Right? So that's uh, the empathy we really need to take care of each other in the team. So everything together it creates an environment where we move really fast. And, and the whole thing should go in the same direction, and we, which means we need to define a common goals. So what's the common goals for us? It's about people. It's about people. Uh, what do I mean by people? So when you work really hard, right? So you, you work, you keep learning, working hard for, for whom? Maybe for your family, those people in your family, right? Or it can be someone in your team. Like I said, we try to help each other in the team to grow together, right? So you, you help people in your team. Um, and it can be people um, not in your team, not in your family. It's our users who use the products. So you work really hard, innovate, and try, trying out new things just to improve your products so you, your user can benefit, benefit from. Um, that's the common goal um, I'm talking about. It's about people. So um, that's all about the culture uh, I just, just mentioned. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the architectures, um, which is part of that uh, system design. So how we can come up with the architecture where we can move really fast? Um, this is a very um, high-level overview of our uh, architectures. Um, so we base on uh, microservices architectures. Uh, with this architecture, architecture we, we can uh, we have different services for, for different, different things, like uh, uh, hotels, uh, for hotel related, or flights, meta search is, is a search platform, uh, or user service, uh, or many others, but I didn't mention here. Um, so with these architectures, we can, um, can be free need uh, to, to use different, um, say, language, for different services, depends on, on say the performance, right? Um, depend, depends on the purpose we want to, to achieve. Um, so, which means we, we are not constrained by language or technologies. Um, so, and each service here we we can scale it differently as well. Depends on the, the traffic to the service. Uh, so, we have different teams to take care of different services. They constantly um, uh, improve the service and focus on, on that service, uh, thinking of the way to, um, to improve the service in terms of performance, scaling, as well. Yeah, so since we, we are going to talk about data, uh, this service produces a huge amount of data. Right? So API Gateway is uh, the gateway of all the traffic coming in our system. Uh, from our API gateway, we capture all the, the traffic data. Right? From that, we can do uh, bot detection. So um, after capture all the data, we build a system where we analyze data and detect uh, which traffic coming from bot and which traffic coming from real user so that we can define some rules to, uh, to filter out the bot traffic, for example. So from different services, we also lock all the data, uh, say the pricing data. When you search a hotel or, or fly, you see the results, right? Uh, with, uh, say, uh, different from di different allies, uh, with different pricing. We capture all of them, and we do the price prediction. Uh, with the price prediction, we, we can predict when is a good time for you to travel, so that you can uh, get a better deals, right? Say you want to travel to 
um, to Bangkok, but you don't know when yet. You may, maybe the timing is very flexible for you. Then we, we based on the pricing data, we can, can suggest you when is a good time to travel, when you should book it, for example. And we also capture all the user behavior data. Uh, say you click something, you, um, you go to, you search something, and you capture all of them um, into our data platform. Right? So later on, uh, Asan is going to talk uh, in more detail about uh, our data platform. Uh, Technically, in details, right? So you, you can uh, ask him about question like how we design it, uh, what's, what is the challenge uh, when we design a data platform uh, later on. But here's the, the, the overview uh, architectures. Um, what I want to, um, to, to talk to you guys here is, is the, this, with this microservice architecture, we can move really fast. Yeah, so, so after we capture all data, how we can make use of data with a data-driven culture? So when, I think this word is, is something that very common, commonly used now, but um, I would want to uh, emphasize that how to build a, a truly data-driven culture is, is different. For example, uh, not only the data team use data, but in our company, people from uh, marketing, from sales, commercials, engineers also use data. That's a uh, truly data-driven culture that we built in our companies. So for example, uh, our engineer team uh, not only building the, the product feature, not, not only writing code, but they can think of the way to capture data to detect errors in our system, for example. Um, that's a uh, data driven for engineers. So, how we can move fast and, and build all of this? We need to automate everything. Right? We cannot just manually build up some service or, or set up something. We need to automate everything. Uh, that's why we invest a lot of effort on DevOps, especially the infrastructure as code. So we, we write code for everything, say, uh, from um, creating servers or increase the size of server. Um, every single thing, we write code for that, and we have a code review process for everything. So um, this is a DevOps. I would, I, would, I would say that this is a DevOps culture. Why is a culture? Because everyone in my team, in our team, can do DevOps. Right, so everyone can create a server. Everyone can, can, can create a new stack if they want to. So they don't have to wait for some DevOps team uh, people to, to help them with that. They can um, design a service and then deploy a service, create the, the, the whole infrastructure for, for their service. Right? That allows us to move really fast and innovate much more. Um, yeah, so those are a few things um, I, want to, I wanted to share with you guys um, about our innovation cultures and how we can enable, enable it. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm going to take any questions if you guys have. Um, otherwise, uh, I will give to Asan. Anyone have any question? Okay. Uh, me? Yeah. Um, okay, so the question is, um, am I in the foreign, foreign team of WeGo? No, I'm, I'm not. So I... Uh, my question is related to that. Yeah. Uh, having a DevOps team and having all this to do innovation, mm. this works out very well when you have like a decent sized team. Okay. So when in a very small startup, exactly. four or five people, maybe two or three are always working on fundraising, all on building the business, all mm. on yeah. How do you innovate at that time? Because half of the time you're thinking about making a presentation, or half of the time you're struggling with that API that you're using. Yeah, so, so different, okay. Uh, so your, your question was, uh, with a small size uh, team, how you can innovate, right? 
Uh, so exactly. So day to day. Okay. Um, so really depends on the focus right, of the company is uh, each period of time. Uh, I guess uh, for you, for your startup small team, what you focus on is how you can move really fast and using best practice, so you don't have to uh, make the same mistake that other people make mistake, right? Uh, so uh, you need to move really fast using best practice. Uh, so I think learning the best practice uh, for your um, team is, is more important than uh, having a well structured and and and. Um, you know, uh, with a decent size like, I, like my team. Um, so yeah, depends on your focus and, and what you want to achieve uh, uh, during that time. Yeah, for us right now, we, our team size is uh, um, like we have 35 engineers, uh, not very huge team, but we are able to deliver a lot like, compared to maybe similar companies uh, because of this culture and, and designs. Yeah, I hope it. I'll show you a question. Yeah. It's something weird. Yeah. Any other people? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so. Uh,